You'll never believe what I've learned. What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the Scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. It was hard to do, but casting Crucio was our only option. And I'm glad we did it, because in the spellbook I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. I see no reason to involve Ominous. I'm glad you agree. When I know more, I shall send an owl. And don't feel sorry for Ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. Ominous, we were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. I am not letting this go. Ominous, Sebastian meant well. I know what I heard. You knew I wouldn't agree with this. Going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. Poor Anne and Sebastian. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I can't lose Sebastian, too. Please avoid anything to do with that spell book. Some references Sebastian mentioned in the book do worry me. I'm glad you understand. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further. But if you think he might, please let me know. It would mean a lot.
Anne is getting worse. If there is any chance that the relic from Slytherin's spellbook can help her, I must find it. I'm requesting your help. Meet me outside of Fel. I came as soon as I could. I'd been so distracted by the scriptorium and Slytherin's book that I'd almost forgotten what it was that struck me about that triptych. This is the view painted on the canvas that was left on it. That's incredible. You know this area well. And while I was waiting for you, I scouted around and discovered an abandoned mine nearby, surrounded by Ranrock's loyalists. Do you think there's a connection to the triptych? I've no idea. But perhaps they're searching it, the way they did Rookwood Castle and Isadora's Manor. How do we want to handle this? We need to see what they're doing. I say we take them head on. Let's bury some enemies. Very well. And I still have that rune symbol we found on the triptych. If there is a connection, I suspect we'll see that symbol again. After you. There they are, up ahead. I'll let you lead. If only I could get my hand. No one enters this mine. Kill anyone who tries. Incendiary! Ah, 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 <laughs> Not quite. Kill spells glass off of them. going well we make a good team we do at that once again we could fight our way through or be discreet you know which one I choose <laughs> is over. <laughs> it is. And that was relatively fun.
I should tell you. Rumor is this mine was closed long ago due to an infestation of spiders. How nice. I wouldn't give her a cup of mushroom tea. For better or for worse. <laughs> <laughs> Closed after accidents were reported. Now I see why. Incendio! Confringo! any goblins in these webs too disgusting for even a spider to prey on There's something here they want. That ledge is awfully high. Any ideas? Spiders give people goosebumps. Could be the hairy legs, or fangs. Should have thought to conjure stairs.
But we're making quick work of them. Professor Hecate would be proud. She would at that. Ramrock's loyalists have all but declared war. Lumos! Lumos. Still not seen a single rune symbol. I think we're going to be a bit distracted from runes for a moment. An unwelcome distraction at that. We have another fight on our hands. Why am I not surprised? You haven't had much of a stew like Break the fight! cleared the room. You're not a bad chap for a Slytherin. Ah, there's that Hufflepuff loyalty you're so well known. A rune symbol above the cabin door. Ranrock's loyalists never knew to look for it. Expecting that.
What do you have there? A journal entry by Isadora. Hopefully it will Sebastian, help us unravel more of this mystery. I think I found something. Mystery. A canvas piece. Brilliant. Our efforts weren't in vain after all. Still, something about this place feels odd. If the triptych led us here to find this bit of canvas, we can probably assume that Isadora Morganark was here. She seems to have been everywhere. But if she was using the Undercroft and the cellar beneath her manor in Feldcroft, why would she create this space? And why hide it behind cryptic rune symbols and ancient magic that no one be see? Isadora and Percival Rackham, another of the Keepers, could see traces of ancient magic too. Rackham? I haven't heard his name before. His are some of the memories I've seen. I don't think he and Isadora saw eye to eye on how this magic should be used. This is all rather baffling. Let's take the canvas back to the triptych. Perhaps the answers are there. This place is odd, to be sure. But I'm fascinated by it. Now, for the trek back out of here and to Hogwarts. Unless we can find another passageway to the Undercroft. Let's have... And now for the moment of truth. It has to fit. Please tell me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do, in fact. And the bad news? We're in for more trouble. I know that coast. Ranrock has taken over a huge mine in the surrounding area. Mar and Weem has suffered for it. It's as bad as Feldcroft's become. Should we head there now? We should wait. Why? All this time, we've been a step behind Ranrock. I may know someone who could help us get ahead. Who is that? A friendly goblin. He wants no part in Ranrock's fight. A friendly goblin? You know goblins cursed my sister to shut her up. Said she should be seen and not heard. I do, but not all goblins... Not all goblins what? Have you forgotten, Feldcroft? Have you forgotten the mine we just went through? No, Sebastian, I haven't. You're not listening to me. Why would I listen to someone so ignorant? You don't know what you're saying. Take a breath for a moment. Oh, I know precisely what I'm saying. Unbelievable. Hello again. Wonderful to see you. As before, I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. What are we looking for today? Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. You're all set with the new upgrade. I can't wait to hear what you think. <clears throat> this may sound presumptuous, but... You'd like me to report back with even more flight details? <laughs> you know me well. I feel I'm almost there. I just think I can improve broom flight a bit more. Miss Ray's is running a time trial at the South Coast course. Not ideal, really, what with rumours of Ranrock's lot and Ashwinders infiltrating the place. However, if you're flying high above them, you should be all right, I think. I'm not worried, Mr. Weeks. I'll see if I can find Imelda. I hope you are able to complete these trials. I have a feeling this final upgrade is going to be a sweeping success. <laughs> Do be careful, of course. I shall look forward to hearing from you soon. I look forward to our next meeting. What are we looking for today? Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again.
are we looking for today? Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. on the way. Bear a moment. Deke has an idea to share with you. Hello, Deke. You wanted to talk to me? Indeed. Uh, Deke thought you might want to learn how to build a breeding pen so that you can breed beasts. Sounds a very good idea. Rescuing and breeding beasts go hand in hand. Uh, young beasts are particularly vulnerable to poachers. Breeding beasts here in the room will allow us to keep the younger ones safe. I see. And what do I need to do? First, bring a pair of beasts to the room. One male, one female. Deke suggests rescuing Thestrals, as they're at great risk from poachers. Noble creatures, but their relationship with death gives them a bad reputation. They're prized by poachers for their tail hairs. I've seen Thestrals before, but where would I find a pair of them nearby? Deke has seen some wild Thestrals not too far from the Hogwarts grounds. Then you'll need to purchase a spellcraft for the pen from Tomes and Scrolls and gather the materials it requires. Once you've rescued the Thestrals and you have the spellcraft, you come and find Deke. Ah, it's always nice to see a familiar face. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Hmm. It does not seem like you have enough. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. You don't turn quick if you're stuck. Hello. Oh, welcome to Brood and Peck. I'm Ellie Peck. And before you ask, I'm out of a Braxton hair. The lot of it was bought up by a trader in Ottery St. Catchpole. Made me take it in person, they did. No care that I had to shut the shop. Apparently, had a bad experience with someone shipping them hair for my wampus cat. Must have been someone from America, no doubt. Because we don't even have a Mia. Anyway. What are you here for? Mooncalf fur? Derricall feathers? Always have trouble collecting them myself as the bird keeps disappearing. Cheeky thing. <laughs> Used to carry them in the shop, Derricalls. But people kept asking for their money back when they'd get home and the blasted things would be nowhere in sight. I can imagine that would be rather frustrating. There's worse. Trust me. Most of the suppliers of whopper feathers may as well be living in St. Mungo's. Not surprising, I suppose. The choir knows things. Oh, but such marvellous feathers. <laughs> Almost worth going mad for. Sounds like stocking your shelves comes with some hazards. Truer words, never spoken. Used to carry beasts themselves. Good business it was, but add it up to here with parents grumbling. Not my fault if the little ones caught a flea of an easel. Ooh, you should have heard them. No, <laughs> best with byproducts. And I do like to make sure the beasts are safe and well cared for. Couldn't guarantee that with some of these prospective owners. Now, why don't you have a good look around? Stocks change all the time, and not just because they disappear. 
always best to pop in whenever you can to get things before they run out. <laughs> Which they used to literally do. <laughs> thank you, I will. Take all the time you need. And thank you for stopping by. A treat to have you here. What do you have for sale? Now, what sorts of beast byproducts might you be looking to acquire? I don't mind selling things for certain clients. You know where to find me. I'll not mind seeing you here again. Consider yourself welcome. We should speak with Mr. Bickle's friends. I believe I can sneak away without drawing my mother's eye. <sighs> Meet me near Hogsmeade, and we will devise a plan. <sighs> See you again. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Now I can conjure a breathing pen in the room. Best get back to Deke with the Thestrals. I've rescued the Thestrals and bought the spellcraft for the pen. Excellent. Now, the Thestrals simply release them into the same vivarium in which you conjure the pen. Then use the pen to start the process. Come and see Deke when you're finished. I shall. I wonder where I should conjure their pen. never grows tired of the room surprises. We now have the perfect place for those Thestrals. Please let Deke know once you've bred them. Thank <laughs> you. 